Father God, I thank you today for another chance, another opportunity to say thank you. Father God, thank you for getting me in my right mind. Thank you for starting me on my way. Thank you for a roof over my head. Thank you for clothes on my back. Thank you that I'm not starving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Proverbs 3 and 5 to trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to our own understanding in all thy ways. We acknowledge you and you shall direct our path. Father God, your words in Psalms 37 and 23, for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Father God, I thank you today for your divine plan and your divine purpose. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, give you hope, give you a future, give you an expected end. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Jeremiah 1, 5, before the world was formed, I knew you, consecrated you, and set you aside for such a time as this. Can you believe the God of the universe knew you before your parents did? What does that mean? He already had a plan and a purpose for you to fulfill in the earth. The Bible says a man's room will make room for him and bring him before great men. What is your gift? Have you tapped in yet? Matthew 6, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all else shall be added unto you. Seek the area, seek the domain, seek the region, to which God has called you to be a king or a queen in. And when you find that space, that area, that dimension, everything you need will be added unto you. Boy, that's a different definition. So when I seek the kingdom, when I seek the king's purpose for my life, Everything else will be added unto me when I tap into understanding, realizing what he has called me to be, what he's called me to become. When I realize my gifts and my talents were all purpose and plan for something that the king wanted to get done in the earth. OMG, when you find that place, my God, all these things will be added unto you. Glory to God. So that's why Jeremiah 33 and 3 says this. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you do not know and have not been revealed. So it's so vital that we seek him, seek his face, seek his plan. Lord, help us. Holy Spirit, we need your wisdom. Order our steps. Lord, I thank you today as your word says in Psalms 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Is there anything, Genesis 18, 14. Is there anything too hard? Is there anything too wonderful for God? Father God, I thank you today is your words in 1 Corinthians 2, 9. But it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither enter the heart of man what God has in store for those who walk uprightly. Lord, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. As a deer pants for water, Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Genesis 126. Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Give them power. Give them dominion. Give them authority. Brothers and sisters, you were fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image and God's likeness. And God don't make junk. Believer, you are the head and not the tail. Believer, you are above and not below. Believer, you are blessed coming in and blessed coming out. Believer, eyes have have not seen what God has for you. Believer, do not get weary, Galatians 6, 9. Do not get weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap what you've sown if you faint not. Believer, 2 Timothy 4, 7 says, fight the good fight. 
finish your course, keep the faith. Believe, uh, John 16, 33 says, in this life, in this world, you will have trouble, but be of good cheer for I have already overcome the world. Believe uh, God has a plan for you. Believe uh, don't get frustrated in your season. This too shall pass. Believe uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 tells us this, Paul, the great apostle acts three times, Lord, please, Lord, help me, Lord, can you take this thorn away from me? I'm going through something, Lord. I got a struggle, Lord. I got a health issue, Lord. I got a marital issue, Lord. I got a child issue, Lord. I got a job issue, Lord. Well, the reason why I'm defining these things, well, the Bible doesn't articulate what the thorn was, but it was something that he had been praying about, something he wanted God to move. And, and God says, son, I know about your thorn. I know about your struggle. Remember, believer, everything that you're going through right now had to pass through God's hands before it got to you. God is not surprised by your situation or your circumstance. God already knows. So hear me, hear me, hear me. If it's in your life, you can handle it. Come on. If it's in your life, you can handle it. Come on. If it's in your life, you can handle it with God's help. So Lord, I thank you today that Father God, as Paul said, <laughs> as you told Paul, son, my grace is sufficient for in your weakness, my strength is made perfect. So, Father God, I thank you for my thorn. Father God, I thank you for my cup. Lord, I thank you for my cross. Every believer will have a thorn. Every believer will have a cup. And every believer will have a cross. There's going to be some things in your life that you're going to have to deal with that you don't want to deal with. But yet and still, yea, though, as Job said, yea, though they slay me, yea, though you slay me, I will still worship you. That's why Psalms 34 says, I will bless Bless the Lord at all times. His praise will be continually in my mouth. I don't know what you're dealing with today, brother. I don't know what you're dealing with today, sister. But God told me to tell you, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning time. God told me to tell you the joy of the Lord is your strength. God told me to tell you that this too shall pass. Lord, I thank you today as your word says in Romans 8, 18, for this is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things are working together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and his design. Lord, I trust you that though it may not feel good, I know it's going to work out for my good. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Romans 8, 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? Lord, I thank you today is your words in Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the path of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he does meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf shall not wither. His fruit shall come forth in due season. And whatever he touches shall prosper. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Glory to God. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, above all we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Father God, I thank you this day for the dunamis power, the dynamite power. Lord, I thank you today as your words in James 5 and 16, the fervent, effective prayer of a righteous man 
makes much power available, dynamic in its working. Father God, I thank you today for the most power. Father God, I thank you today that yokes are being destroyed and burdens are being lifted. Father God, I thank you today. Father God, your word says in Jeremiah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Let me land the plane. Let's put on the armor, believers. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God. That we may stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God. That we may withstand the evil day, having that all the stand, we stand there for. Having our Lord and by our truth, your word, Lord, which is true, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which is our carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. Our feet are shod with the preparation of gospel peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace of pursuit, peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we're able to quench all the fire darts of the wicked in the helmet of salvation. On the thoughts, feelings that purpose God's heart, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut to pieces the snare of the enemy by speaking the word of God. For greater is even us than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody yesterday. We might be the only Jesus somebody sees today. So, Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine and draws all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer says, it's Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it personal. Lord, give me this day my daily bread. And forgive me my trespass, as I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Yeah, yeah, don't be bashful. Lord, bless me indeed. Lord, I thank you that I am blessed to be a blessing. Bless me. Yeah, yeah. Enlarge my territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverers that you are raising up for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you for witty inventions. Lord, I thank you for great ideas. Lord, I thank you for divine hookups and divine connections. Lord, I thank you for the hedge of protection you provide. Lord, I thank you today that we shall not cause pain by action, word or deed, but let everything we do give you the glory. Let it be praised by them, let it be honored. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get on the highways, byways, planes, trains, and all of this. Lord, I thank you today that we are a family of faith and not of tragedy. To God be the glory. Father God, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace and getting highways, byways, planes, trains, and all of this. Lord, I thank you right now that you're working things together for our good. Right now, believe us, as I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for blessing she is. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. And Lord, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have its intended end. For what the enemy has made for bad, Lord, I know. you turn around for their good. Lord, I pray for my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws. Come up. I pray for the church to give me to serve love first. Lord, I pray for the kingdom churches. The churches are doing your work. Lord, I pray for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backslided, the heathen. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters in the military harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local, national, give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance workers. Lord, I pray for our teachers and our students, guidance counselors, resource officers, administrators, Cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross guard workers, cover them this day. Lord, I pray for all those in the medical field, whatever level of, of, of assistance that they are working through. 
Lord, help them this day. These things, Father God, I ask in your son Jesus' name I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Well, to God be the glory. I love you. I love you. I love you. A couple things I want to say. I didn't get a chance to say it yesterday. Uh, please share this. Please share this. Um, please share this. I think this is uh, my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May it be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Molders and makers, this is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like.